Welcome back to a special edition of uh, Less Than Geeks X-Wing coverage. Today we have the final match from Gen Con Indy 2015, the U.S. Nationals Tournament. My name is Travis. And I'm Peyton. And I'm Steve. Yeah, today we have a uh, third voice in the booth here. Uh, Steve, our, uh, normally our behind-the-scenes guy. Yeah, I came out from behind uh, to talk today, so we'll see how that goes. Oh, because yeah. you're one of the people that were actually there. Yeah, yeah, I was actually at the tournament, played in it. Uh, obviously, didn't make it this far, which would have been nice, but you know. Yeah, we wanted to just you know bring in some extra uh, extra perspective here for uh, you know such a big game, get three people in here. So uh, on the right side over here, we have Philip uh, with a somewhat standard like uh, soon tier plus decimator build uh, for. This, for soon tier, he's got uh, the push a limit and stealth device, auto thrusters, you know, just a standard loadout. Uh, the decimator is actually Captain Oiken instead of uh, Chirinu. Um, he still has Predator, Gunner, Rebel Captive, Yasenisard, you know, kind of standard upgrades on the decimator. But with those extra few points for switching pilots, he worked in a proximity mine. Uh, on the left over here, we have Jeff with a uh, Dash build supported by a couple B-Wings. So Dash has Lone Wolf, Heavy Laser Cannon, the Outrider title, Anti-Pursuit Lasers, and the crew version of R2-D2 alongside uh, a pair of just Blue Squadron B-Wings. Those um, are uh, Naked Blues. Yep. So on the initial uh, maneuvers here, the... Decimator, I guess, decided to just run into the back of Fell and stay put. And a nice kind of just delaying maneuver, I guess, just to kind of see what the opponent was going to do. Fell just still one hard as well. Um, Dash, as usual, is just kind of flying across things. And, I don't know, B-Wings are going single file yeah. being B-Wings. Dash is using full advantage of his game text right there. Right. He technically couldn't have shot, but who cares? Yeah. Right. <laughs> so, um, it would be interesting to see... Kind of the uh, approach vector that the that soon tier takes here. I think that's going to be kind of one of the deciding factors. Uh, if he can avoid just taking multiple shots in one turn, it seems like if he can not get shot by the B wings, dash by himself, um, is, especially without like extra actions, is going to have uh, trouble pushing through the auto thrusters and all that. You would think you'd kind of want to take the B wings out first and just leave. The final matchup being Sooner versus Dash, because that's probably an auto loss for Dash right there. Yeah, especially I mean, since he can only do one movement action, he doesn't have boost as an option. If it got to that point, Sooner could maybe stay on him indefinitely, as long as yeah, you know, he has to be careful not to run into him and be taking potentially damage from the anti-pursuit lasers. But if he can find that. Yeah, it, it, do your maneuver so that you're not going to run into him, but just boost and barrel gets you within range one. Kind of, you know, sweet spot. He would have them pretty much dead to rights. That's kind of why the B wings are kind of doing a screening, screening positions over there. You know, yeah. Keep everybody away because the only way you're getting near him right now is get your sooner blown away or focus firing on the decimator. Take it out in, you know, two or three turns. Yeah, and um, the thing is it, it's pretty easy for him to kind of concentrate fire on the decimator you know with b-wings are definitely good for that um i don't know steve you played a uh, few games with i guess earlier in the season with a like a decimator uh to your build right yeah so it's more yeah. of that yeah. pretty similar i was using charity instead of Boykin, but pretty similar build yeah yeah, did you ever did you try to come across uh, something like this where you're dealing with Dash or you know some other, uh, I guess maybe like an IG, something that you know, had like a weakness to expose with Soontier? Yeah, I, um, I actually, I never played against uh, a Dash build with, with that particular build. Um, you know, I played a lot of uh, kind of swarmy B-Wings and, and things like that, but um, yeah, I didn't, I didn't come up in, against something quite like this. I think the thing with uh, with Sunter was um, I usually would just try to keep him back a little bit and let him pick his spots as far as coming into the fight. You, the worst thing you could do is usually get him in there too early and get him just blown away. Yeah, it kind of looks like what he's doing here. Um, like I said at the beginning, you don't really you don't want him getting shot by all three at once on one pass. So 
you know, you got to play it safe, I guess. But he's uh, got multiple shots on the decimator because of that. Uh, maybe if the decimator just happened to not quite be in range of that B-wing or something, it would have been nice. But yeah. he's still dealing with the heavy laser cannon too. So that's the whole thing. It was like, yes, if you bring sooner in too quick, you can get blown away. But on the other hand, if you keep him too far back, he's not shooting. He's not doing anything. Yeah. I mean, like on a one-on-one matchup, Dash shouldn't be able to get through whatever sooner has you know put up, you know, defense-wise. So like right now, if he was getting a range three shot. That might be free damage to put on dash. Right. That would probably be ideal. And maybe you could try to you could try to have both of the Imperial ships focusing on dash, maybe. And I mean, then... you could move them, you know, relatively slowly this round. More or less be able to stay out of B wings unless they right. completely haul, and then you can probably still just barrel out of the way. And not you know you have to force range one against dash, you know, if you you still have all your defensive options for sooner. You still have your, you know, stealth device up. There's, there's no reason to, like, oh, I need to use all my actions to get into range one. It's like, eh, I'd actually kind of rather him waste his one shot on a guy who he probably can't deal any damage to. Yeah, and this particular version of Dash is not moving a whole lot like the the PTL Kakatarn version. So, you know, so Sooner should have a pretty good amount of uh, wiggle room there to, to kind of move in with a barrel roll or a boost. And he's a lot more predictable on his mo- maneuvers. Yeah. Especially as he has a stress... I don't know why. Oh, uh, it's from Rebel Captive. From, oh, right, 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 right. From Oiken over there. Yeah, it it is a thing, you know, since he doesn't have that build on Dash, that he's a little more resilient against that stuff. But, I mean, when you're when he's the highest pilot skill you yeah, you have, because you're playing the Bs, you have to be. If you had Corn or whatever, with it works better with, you know, they pairs, Corn pairs better with the, um, like, push a limit build of Dash because corn can soak that ideally missing out on the boinkin <laughs> yeah that's that's what he wants so and then uh should yeah he can boost past it uh he, he does yeah. also have the engine upgrade on there i think we just left that out when we were running down the list but yeah I mean, he still that, has it on there that was kind of a win-win there for him he, he was either gonna gonna hit that b-wing and do some damage to it or be able to boost past both of them and avoid shots yeah this is this is pretty nice here uh he's just gonna smack that one range one i guess and see I what just, happens i just hope sooner's not doing some sort of hard two right <laughs> yeah as long as soon tier doesn't go into the teeth of those bees they're not doing anything i mean i'd, I'd be looking for like maybe you know a bank some sort of bank to maybe maybe even straight because you kind of figure where dash is going yeah exactly and you get you know you have so many options with boost barrel that you should be able to get yeah, into if you don't a have shot holes in, in here it would be pretty dirty and it looks like that's what's going to happen yeah uh, yeah she it seems like yeah the bank boost there will get him I don't even think you need that in the ideal spot that should, yeah it should get him right where he needs to be I mean, yeah. it's a little harder for us to tell just because of the angle of the I, camera I think, but... I think it was probably range two the yeah the angle of the camera the depth perception is a little off but now he's definitely at range one and probably still out of the bees but even if, if he is range one then bees not one bee is not gonna hit him with double token yeah i mean i say that but you know <laughs> range three through a rock through a rock yeah all right that well, is a palpable hit on yeah, that's a pretty good hit on uh dash there you know well okay I yeah, guess it was I mean, only two he had, he had lone wolf oh he spent so. the focus too okay yeah yeah he was gotcha able, yeah he might as well he's not he's shooting not, he shoot. still damage yeah a couple hits so no shot for dash. Or you can range one on that B. Whew. The the old uh, toughness on the B wings. Yeah, well, <laughs> he rolled four heads, so. Yeah, and Jeff had some uh, really hot dice, or especially with the evades early on in this match. He he's, he's had a, a number of uh, evades, even with the limited amount of evade dice he has on his ships. Yeah, it makes a difference for sure. Yeah. Um. So yeah, no shots for uh, Jeff that round though. So free damage piling up. Definitely in a uh, Phil's uh, advantage there. This t- this round's a little more difficult for sooner, I think. I, th- I think the bees have a kind of a, a I mean, they could K turn go at, continue pressure on the decimator, but the question is, do you really care? Yeah, this is a tough like situation they, for soon tier. It's like he can do the two hard uh, back towards his side of the board, yeah. But that could that's too dangerous of running into dash and yeah anti-pursuit plus the bees having shots when he has no actions or whatever 
Yeah, it's tough. I'm, I can't, it's hard to tell if the too hard to assume to your right is going to hit that debris or not from this angle. Um, and that could not, you know be a rough spot too, even if it doesn't. I think you should just maybe four straight and just try to do Go like pass a bug out. Yeah. yeah, I mean, Dash might get a shot on him that way, but I don't, you can basically guarantee the bees won't. So worst case scenario, he just has to tank with tokens and and auto thrusters or whatever and hope yeah. that he doesn't take a hit. Just kind of regroup with the decimator down there. Seems like playing that hit and run game would be to his advantage. I wonder if maybe he should have barrel rolled as well on his last turn. Just because, you know, it'd give him a better positioning for this round. Because he didn't yeah. need, he didn't need the evade. That's true. This is interesting. I guess it, yeah, he's still gonna clear. I wonder if he's gonna try like I don't think he can barrel roll. Yeah, I don't think he'll fit with it. That might have been what he was planning though, to barrel roll back into the left if he could fit just to block up as much as possible. And th this is the kind of the the, pro the problem people get into against uh you know fell you know sooner at this specific game because it's untimed, you can't leave him by himself. You can't 1v1. Yeah. Fell with it until Vader comes out. Yeah, exactly. You know, to drop the hammer on that shenanigans, but right now one on one uh, it's I don't I wouldn't say it's impossible, but you certainly don't want to leave it to that. And Wiccan doesn't seem to care about rocks. <laughs> and straight well, he's not. Like, he's not getting yeah. shot at, so yeah. who cares? Yeah, he had. He, I mean, he had to do that to stay in the fight. Yeah. And then next turn, he just has to, you know, go over the rock or whatever. Yeah, that's one of those things where you, you want him to be getting range one shots if they're going to ignore him. Yeah, this is a tough spot here because now he can't... I don't think he can fit with barrel rolls anywhere. He, he might yeah, if he maybe. goes towards, towards us, you know. Yeah, he's trying. It's he's well, not from the back. Between, Definitely not from the back. He, he's in all three arcs. Whew. Oh man, yeah. It just it's so tough to. I mean, here he is. Even if the range tree or whatever, he's taking all three shots. You know, That's you know, so you know, dicey. But yeah. you know how sick it would be if uh, that was range one to dash right now. Yeah. Oh, that would be. <laughs> but unfortunately, no. Yeah. But yeah, that would be awesome. Maybe that's what he was thinking. Because I, I assumed he was going to barrel left and then boost and get out of at least the back B. But man, I was in love. Possibly with, even the, the close one. I was in love with doing the four straight and just getting the hell out. And, you know, especially throw a boost and barrel on that. I mean, he could have just yeah. disengaged. Nobody's getting any shots other than the decimator for this turn, you know. There's another evade there from, uh, from Jeff. Yep. So it's fancy uh, re regional yeah. dice. Yeah, it's like, you know, Sinter's only going to do so much. Even if he evades all this, it's like... He's too afraid to spend his focus on offense, so he's not going to yeah. do anything. Like, he got zero hits through on that. Another thing that I find interesting that what might have affected his move going into this was where Dash was sitting, just sitting yeah. on top of that debris cloud. I think that's kind of an interesting tactic you can use with Dash, is you almost kind of mask the terrain a little bit when you sit on top of those. Right. And a guy like Sunter has a, you know, all of a sudden can't judge that distance as well maybe maybe he's not going to do that straight maneuver or certain maneuvers because he can't tell exactly where the edge of that rock is yeah that is true it is annoying when dash does that a nice uh it's a good call for him to keep his focus for defense though he just yeah. used it to get out of the four hits there oh yeah i mean if you're just relying on auto thrusters to keep you three you can't just be burning focuses <laughs> you're not kidding about those, yeah the uh, greens dice. yeah um Oh, I guess that was range three. You were shooting at the one that was beat up way over there. Yeah. <laughs> the old double evades on a B-wing. Yeah. Two hits coming in. See, now we got no auto thrusters. And, you know, double focus. Yep. So, Fell is naked. Fell's naked with one shot left. It's range yeah. three, isn't it? Range yeah, it's auto thrust. Three. Yeah, it's range three, but once he loses those tokens, things get I mean, he's got five hits. greens and an auto thrust, but... Two hits. Two hits. Five, five, yeah, five dice with no actual evades on there. Yeah, so he one takes, one. takes one. Takes uh, one. It's like sucks so that's, much. That's Thank, the worst. Thanks, five dice. <laughs> yeah. Oh man, that changes the whole dynamic of the game right so, there. Because now you got to play a runaway game with sooner. Mm -hmm. yeah. Which which is what you almost impossible done. to do against Dash though is the problem. Yeah, that, that's the thing though. If you had just disengaged in the you know previous round. It's kind of the same thing where, like, now you have to do that, except, you know, you're still full health, you still have your stealth device, 
and you're in a better position, you're dictating it instead of them dictating it. Yeah, at, at and the, I know the hindsight's twenty twenty and everything, yeah. but at this point, you gotta you gotta shove Oinkin directly down Dash's throat. Yeah, like I would I would do like a hard, you know, hard to the left or something, mm-hmm. hard three because you know where he's gonna be going. You, like B wings are uh, secondary at this point because even without the stealth device, Sooner should be able to f- take yeah, out right. two Bs. Right. But Dash, like you know, the HLC shots are gonna. Yeah, if you're not down a hole in them, you're in trouble. Plus, if he were to head that way, that back B wing that's moving right now, like maybe he can pick him off on the way. That B wing's down to hole, I think, or you know, close to it. He might yeah. have one shield left, but um, yeah, you can pick him off on the way and try to corner dash. Yeah, it looks like he's going. He's going that way. I mean, you're not going to avoid the the rock, obviously, but yeah. Yeah, Sooner is. He he wasn't going to avoid that rock anyway. Yeah. yeah. So I wonder if Sooner's end up doing. You know, he's going to hightail it this time. Because he's still got that option to just do like a four, get out of at least. Yeah, I'm not really sure what else he could do. He takes the damage on the rock there yeah. too. Yep, and he's down the hole as well. So not that that doesn't happen pretty much right away with a decimator. He yeah. could just probably boost past. Oh yeah, he rocked up. Yeah, yeah rock. rock. Yeah, that does suck for him. You know, that B-Wing's getting a range one if it lives. I mean, he can easily, he could take it out. It's it's almost like you'd want Fell to have a shot on it, too, to ensure that, but I'm not sure if he really can. Yeah, I don't, I don't see him. I don't think he can. I don't see him risking that, but, I mean. The only way he could is maybe, like, a two hard bumps to the front B-Wing or something, but then he's sitting there with no actions I think for it's Dash. All, yeah, That's, Dash is about, he's going to pop him in the back. Yep. Um, oh, they're checking for a target lock, I think. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Great. I so, imagine he wants target lock sooner. Yeah, he's he's gonna barrel in just to be able to be in the action. And that's the thing. Like if you you know even if you don't have any actions or whatever, it is always nice when you get to just sling your dice at the decimator. You feel like you get something through. Yeah. yeah. I know. I kind of would have wanted a target lock on sooner just so you could set up the FTL for next time you get a shot. Yeah, it might have been a good call as well. I guess. Uh, you know, with only the one action and stuff. I mean, he does, if he stays far enough from his guys, he gets one reroll. Yeah, one wolf always. Currently not doing that, but whatever. Yeah. I mean, you know, maybe by the next time. I guess he, you know, he assumes he was getting away now. And he just, let me just switch over to the decimator and deal with that. Yeah, I mean, I, getting I can, getting shots in general is better yeah. than setting up, you know, the, the long shot. Yeah. So, I think soon too can probably boost here as well. Um, I feel like the barrel back he might be putting himself in an arc of that the one in the back yeah the B wing in the middle there yeah, do a little boost of course now his next turn is kind of telegraphed because he can't really yeah basically four straight yeah or whatever two or three straight well he's still got one pot shot from that B-Wing too if it lives. That, that B-Wing is all sorts of trouble. He needs to take it out. All right. um, There's a dash on the decimator. And yeah, so we got that should be the Asard there. Yeah, that's what they're uh, talking uh, about right Yeah, now. I think that's probably what they're debating. Like, Kind of jumped right into that even though it is the beginning of the combat phase. And, and some it's people kind of threw dice right away. So, some people get know. confused about running over asteroids and getting a sar, you know, right. the action. But you know, yeah, the, like the, he, he does end up getting the uh, the token. Yeah, there. isn't the uh, rules guy like sitting there watching? Yeah, yeah there's yeah. there's at least one of them right there. Um, you know, again, this is you know Gen Con, so you have like Alex Davies and some of the other you know FFG designers presiding over a lot of the events. It's not a bad role without tokens. You got the. You, yeah. That's why. That's what. But when you see that, you know, double die ball, and you're like, yeah, "There you go." Well, that's playing, even better. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. You know, he didn't have any actions, but he got the predator two dice. So. Yeah, playing against predator, uh, you know, shining against the uh, two power skill B wings. And I think that B wing. I guess he had one. He had one uh, shield, and he rolled an evade. Of course, of course he did. Him. Yeah. So now he's and the crit wasn't a direct hit, so he's yeah. he's sitting there with. Some sort of effect on him, but he's down to one hole. He got to use his fancy new crit token too. Yeah, <laughs> and get the, best prize support ever. And, yeah. then, and then get a good roll on the, the shot back. Yep. So yeah, we got even more horrible things happening to the decimator. Yeah. 
yeah, I guess you figured, let me just go ahead and take that range one to do whatever, you know, instead of maybe, you know, trying to knock out Fell. But yeah, that's probably range three through maybe the clipping with the debris or something. Well, the problem with Fell getting clipped so early is you don't, you're not even really scared of Fell just swooping in and trying to blast you. Yeah. He's, he's basically in all evasion mode now. Mm-hmm. Exactly. So you know, just like, well, that, this is one of those builds where you can easily switch targets. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, you know, of course it's tempting to just throw four dice at something that has no evade. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that doesn't Especially is not, always a big fat target. And non-shielded. Ah, nice. Just trying to pursue, I guess. I mean, you know, it's that or, you know, rip a K-turn, but... Yeah, it feels like maybe the K-turn and just help finish the Decimator, but... I don't know, maybe he just fears that, that since that one's beat up, maybe he's just kind of bugging out as fast as a B-Wing can. <laughs> I mean, you can't really th- think that you're going to get a shot on sooner. I mean, yeah, just from the... I mean, I guess if he pulled like a a left, hard left or something, but... Yeah, if he's just completely bugging out, but oh, even then... All right, yeah, I don't really think you can assume that. That one's not having a great day either. K turn onto the debris. I mean, well, when you have could be a, worse. He just has a bunch of stress. Yeah, when you have a bunch of stress, you roll natural hits, and you know that. <laughs> yeah, seems that way sometimes. Yeah, I still get a shot at the decimator. decimator. Not if you boost away. Uh, I could boost away. Because he can, <laughs> he can finally do that. Yeah, he could, he could boost away and block slash donut hole dash. Well, I mean, if he doesn't, if dash doesn't run into him, he can always barrel roll to not get donut hold. But he should have dropped a bomb. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, just leave a proximity mine in the middle of uh, all that. I mean, it does take your action. And, you know, you needed a boost, so. Yeah. I don't, I don't think the boost got him quite far enough away either. I think that beam might still have a shot. No, well, at it's, least he gets another. Uh, it's probably at least range three evade. through a thing yeah. against no actions. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And then, of course, the barrel all away from him. He's going to yep. get him a shot. That's what he needs to do. But yeah. at least he doesn't have a focus that way or whatever. It's one of those, one of those things like. These these problems could all be avoided if I wasn't playing Oinkin. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Chirinu would be money in this matchup. I mean, just night and day. Because, um, I mean, you picture Chir- or the Decimator being back where it started. So he could still do this barrel roll here, but now the Decimator does its move. He doesn't know exactly where it's going. And before the boost, you know, if it landed where it was pre-boost, that's range one. Mm-hmm. So he just stays there and just target locks dash or whatever and just pounds them probably wouldn't even gone as fast as he did yeah if he was going after after dash yeah and maybe even just pull a hard turn i mean yeah it's a whole different animal uh, soon to you is just trying to i guess go around the uh rocks and everything i said he's basically got to rely on oinkin to take out dash at this point before he can go in because he's pretty much dead to rights if dash gets shoot at him I know he, you know, he's, you know right. he's got three, you know. It's like, yeah, but he's got four attack, so. Yeah. Well, plus it's he's also awesome. not, without that fourth to fourth dive, and, you know, even at range three, he's only getting three. Yeah. yeah. So we've got, I guess they were checking range here. Maybe Seems pretty obvious. Yeah. Oh, yeah, right. It's like, well, there's all these range things you could check for. <laughs> well, you can check for Lone Wolf, you know it's obvious. Oh, that's a yeah. good roll. Yeah, there's two more hits on the decimator. And just accumulating, just piling up. I mean, uh, I know they were checking to see if he was going to get an evade from that debris. The one that's hiding behind oh, Dash. Yeah. Oh, I gotcha, yeah. yeah they were checking mine aside. Because he could, you know, measure from his entire dial, probably. Yeah. Dash is uh, covering up the, de- obscuring the debris from us. <laughs> okay, mm-hmm. there's a few hits coming back there. And his green dice. Finally, yeah. yeah. Not yeah. rolling. Oh, in the sweet spot because it's... Yep. Free yes. shield from R2. Yep. yep. Real jerk. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we got a range three through a rock. Maybe just barely. I think we do. Yep. All right. This is the uh, double... Double, uh, double stress. Mark dash just to <laughs> double check. Mm-hmm. We got to be perfect. And then we'll bump him when it's... we put him back down and make it not perfect. <laughs> <laughs> it is that close. Well, there's still less bumping going on in, in this than Armada. I can guarantee you that. <laughs> well, Armada, the bumping is in the rules. Yeah. <laughs> it's in here, too. No, I mean, like, 
Oh, I got you. You know, the small ships, at least. Yeah. All right. So, two green dice for that decimator. We're trying to hang in there. And we'll see the natural three hits, right? No. Aww. Oh. <laughs> for once. He's like, yeah, yeah some green dice. I'm rolling them anyways. <laughs> yeah. so Shield back on dash. Show. And now decimator is going to be out of the fight again because everybody's going to have to f- fly mm-hmm. past him. Mm-hmm. I guess that B might just continue to wail on him. Yeah, the Decimator could probably do it too hard this way and boost around that B and just take shots on it, but he's not, he needs him shooting at dash, and I don't think he's going to be able to get him this turn. Um, I mean, he is restricting dash to greens, basically, with the Rebel Captive. Yeah. But, you know, when he doesn't have the extra actions, but still, I think he's going to get too far away. Yeah, and when he can still fly over the rocks and yeah. not lose his actions and that kind of stuff, it's not as painful. Right. Everybody check it out. So this no. B-Wing is just basically... I'd rip, I'd rip a, a K-turn with sooner. <laughs> yeah. No, it, I, I mean, that would be pretty cool. Um, Dash is probably going to get close enough to him now. Yeah, but yeah, the one thing I don't want to see at the end of this match is sooner never shooting again. Because then you might as well. I mean, it seems like he could do it too hard this way and just maybe barrel around the rock, possibly even into range one. It seems like that could donut hold Ash. It's possible, but the rock might get in the way. Yeah, we'll see. This is. is it, we're gonna sit on two stresses. Don't care. Yep. Well, we're gonna get another one. Yeah. I don't know what I can do about it right there. Yep. I mean, that is a green, so he's just gonna stay on two. But yeah. It's the standard philosophy of, of Swarm to not care about it here, right? Roll that crit. Nope. nope. <laughs> Never punished. Take away one of those, thank you. Yep. <laughs> All right, we can... Let's see what he's up to. I would have to expect he's doing, yeah, just a big hard turn this way and trying to boost past the B-Wing. <laughs> I don't know if he'll make it, though. It's not a great prospect. And that B-Wing is basically full. Um, I think it maybe lost one shield if if that uh, earlier. Yeah, the problem is what's Oinkin going to be even doing? Yeah, like, he's not going to be shooting at Dash. Dash is going to be out of there. Yeah, you're just shooting with that one. So it's like if you think you can boost past it, do it. If not, sure, focus. Sweet, sweet focus. Yeah, it's. I don't I think right, that's range three. I guess he focused because he thinks he might have a shot on dash so you know don't target lock the b and then be like oh crap dash is still here yeah and uh, do you think you could barrel roll i mean barrel boost and get into range oh, for signature yeah not if sure. dash stays there yeah too hard uh you know to the right like towards the rock and then you barrel roll to the right as well so you're between those two rocks and then you boost towards dash from there easily but if Dash barrel rolls towards where those stress tokens are, he'll be fine. Mm-hmm. And then, but then Soontir could choose to barrel out the other way and disengage. Like, actually, Soontir on this turn has all the power. Um, oh, why did you do a three, though? <laughs> I mean, I know he's not stressed, so he didn't have to do a two. But God, a two was perfect. <laughs> Because, I mean, you know Dash was going to be somewhere in that ballpark. I guess he figured he could boost around the rock this way, but... I think it was... It was it's not going to work for now comfort. because... You're uh, taking the maybe. longer way. You're taking the longer way. He can't barrel now because of the rock. Yeah, it's... And he would have been between the B-Wings and everything. It just would have been perfect. Um, no, right, I mean, well. it's, it's not the worst, thing, but you got to have... What? If he gets four hits, you got to have three? You gotta have three uh, symbols. Yeah, but like right here, he's like, I'm not spending that. <laughs> yeah, do my. Well, he's gonna do. <laughs> I mean, it could be good enough. You got the auto thrusters and the evade, and he he's not he's too close to his other guys for the lone wolf. Maybe he's like, I re- and that corner might be in the thing. He might get an extra green. Yeah, maybe he's like, I really need to get that, you know, that one card down so that R two at least is in play to right. flip the crit back up. Although I guess. Uh, you got he didn't one, you roll got, an extra green, so he's not. Yeah. Yeah, he's he's he probably got. Quicken. Yeah. I guess you know take more or less the guaranteed you know thing there. 
Yeah, but four, four hits. hits he could have probably could have killed sooner right there. Yeah, especially yeah. Well, especially without the focus. We were rolling that like, that hot, yeah. And then yeah, that B wing is set up to do the killing blow to the decimator, essentially. No, he's he's gonna do what it can on the way out, I guess. Yeah, three hits into the B. Or is it? All right, it's going with dash. Right. Yeah, that's why I didn't. Uh, yeah, that's why I didn't get the. Focus. That's why I didn't get the double reroll. Yeah. Well, I, I thought he just left it because he had the focus, but yeah, now he's he's trying to take out dash, which is the right move. I mean, if he could trade, you know, the big ships here, and you've got, you know, two tier, like we said, even reduced capacity against just two naked bees. Especially one bee has yeah. one health, the exactly. other one's gonna got multiple stress, so he he's going off into BFE for a while. Did he uh, forget to start again? No, he he, he did it okay. on the dash shot, but yeah, oh, okay, it's still okay, yeah. too much. So yeah, I mean, it pretty much comes down to if uh, Sooner's gonna kill uh, Dash in one turn. Yeah, or just not give him a shot. You know, just maybe don't hold him a couple times while the bees are irrelevant. Because that that B on the right there is is not gonna be in the fight for a couple of turns. Yeah, because yeah, he's not K turning. I mean, he can. I mean, he can do a hard white. Just land back onto Mora. He can do a two hard to the left, which is a white. Land on more and, uh, space and if, if he can set up a block with dash so that that keeps soon to in that arc he can get a shot and and then also you know be doing the anti pursuit lasers and everything so that's probably i assume the left one's gonna be k turning the ideal situation well looks like he's going for that play yeah that the one down there seems like okay turn Gets but him. yeah now if dash traps soon to in here he's got this extra shot There we go. Yeah, and this B down here does at least have a random target lock on Sundir as well. He's got a good. He's got a good. Uh, you know, art coverage too. Yeah. Sundir somehow slips out this way and doesn't have the ability to pop that B first. It could cause him to, you know, be a threat to him as well. All right. So now this is where, for all the marbles here, trying to catch Sundir to catch an interceptor. He's chugging along pretty slowly, but he's been doing that kind of all game, so I wonder if he picks up on that and kind of does just like a, a two, two soft yeah. or something. Yeah, I mean, if, if Dash Barrel's like back into the right, I mean, he's blocking Most of pretty it. much all of uh, Sintir's options there. Sintir might be able to do a two straight maybe without hitting the debris, but I'm not sure he can. Eh, looks like he could. No, this is the place the anti pursuit laser could also come into play depending on what he does here. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. You catch him with that and then you get the shot with the B. Yep. Yep. There it is. Yeah, it, 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 it's not good for Sudir. And of it course. Takes the damage from it too. <laughs> One health. 50 50 chance works every time. Yeah. So. Now well, Sutir at least has a shot to try to finish that bee off. Probably range three through a rock with no actions. Yeah. <laughs> I mean it's it's down to like one so hole. Just so. clear the rock. I have to roll some hits. No, one maybe. <laughs> he's been maybe. doing that all day. No, double double evades. Yeah. <laughs> he had that one really good shot at the beginning <laughs> of the game, and he's just been one hit, one focus the rest of the game. Which yeah. you know. B wings rolling green dice, you know, hot like that. They're rolling better than Zoom here. Yep. All right, couple hits. Oh, one of eight, and that is game. game. The yeah. trap worked, and How's Jeff is your uh, nationals champion. He's uh, somebody will get to play in Worlds at least. Yeah. Right? yeah. <laughs> is he planning on going? I don't know. Didn't unfortunately we didn't catch up with him. If he um, wasn't before, he probably is now. <laughs> yeah. Paul Carlos on that. Yeah. But yeah. Thanks for watching uh, our you know, special coverage here. Uh, we'll have some uh, more videos on something soon um, in between, you know, kind of the, the tournament drought here. Sweet, but, sweet bag. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. Top two. Get yeah. the, the little saddle bags there or whatever. <laughs> yeah, we're probably going to try and catch up on some uh, on some strategic shorts. Uh, we've had a few requests from some, from some people online for certain certain things they want to see so we're, we're trying to catch up on some of that stuff now the tournament season slowing down and, yeah kind of um, i think i was thinking we could do just kind of like a fundamentals yeah. series you know? yeah but uh yeah thanks for watching give us a like a thumbs up subscribe 
and uh, we'll see you guys next time.